Casual Diary Podcast, episode 234. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Cash Flow Diary Podcast. The podcast that teaches you insider tips, tactics, and strategies for creating leveraged streams of cash flow into your life. Learn from top performing entrepreneurs, business owners, investors, and thought leaders from across the globe as they share their secrets to success. Like what you learn on this and other Cash Flow Diary podcast episodes? Go to learninvestingnow.com and sign up to receive powerful tips and information that will help you succeed as an entrepreneur and investor. Now, here's your host, investor, entrepreneur, business owner, educator, speaker, author, and master facilitator of Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow game, Jay Massey. Hey guys, gals, people of all ages, and across many different time zones and countries, glad that you are here. I'm Jay, and we're going to be brief today, but I think it's going to be something that I hopefully you'll be able to think about not only now as we wind down this particular year, but as you pick up this next year and you turn over those new leaves and you soon tune in your attention. If you haven't already, you will be turning your attention to the things that you want to accomplish in this next year. I know that that, that time of <laughs> year is coming up for many of us where we go, okay, that's it. Old me behind and new me ahead. And I just wanted to share something with you. Many of you know that uh, my my life here uh, in the fourth quarter of a year is absolutely nuts uh, because most of us uh, in the immediate family have uh, our birthdays and are all on top of everything else that's going on. So, you know, my wife's birthday, it starts with her birthday, then there's like Halloween, and then two weeks later, then it's my my oldest daughter, and and. And, and it just continues. It's like every other week uh, from October on, there's at least one, if not two, in some cases, uh, birthdays in any given week or a holiday to, to contend with. So fourth quarter becomes this time where it is, it's just, you know, it's kind of insane. <laughs> but you guys, you know, you have your own insanity to deal with, right? Well, one of the things that uh, has occurred to me, and, and it's occurred to me a number of times, and, and probably to you as well, is that it's important to understand or remember why you're doing what you're doing. Why do you keep listening? Why do you keep pursuing information? Why do you keep writing offers? Why do you keep learning how to deal with um, people? How do you? Why do you feel the need to continue to learn to to sell and 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 do the pieces of things that? that need to be done in order to become the the person that has the ability to help the number of individuals that you want to so that you can go out there and provide some value. And, and we all have our reasons uh, for, for doing so. And it's no secret that, uh, you know, a lot of that has to do with family. For me, if you go back and listen to like episode one, uh, that'll definitely clue you in, you know, to how we got started and a lot of the reasons why Cashflow Diary even exists. And you, there, there's, you know, a couple of episodes. I think it's episode 11 where we were talking about the cash flow board game and just all these other things that, you know, have, have played a role in, in integral parts. The, and I have a very simple uh, message uh, today. And it's just quite simply, you never know who's watching. You don't know. Who's listening? And I, I know right now you may be going through a time to where it's hard and it doesn't feel like you're going to get to the goal. And and believe me, I, I know about hard and feeling like you're not going to get to the goal or that goal post seems to keep on moving back, back and, and further away, even though it feels like did I make progress or really what's going on? I'm very well aware of that, that feeling. Um, but what I wanted to share with you uh, is that long as you can continue to keep the the whys important, those really small or what we call small, but yet are usually big things, you know, uh, in, in the forefront of our mind, uh, I think we'll be satisfied because you, you want to be not only satisfied with reaching your goal, but you want to be satisfied with the person that you become on the other end. And that's one of the things that I learned a, a long, long time ago 
is, uh, I believe it was Jim Rohn said something to the effect of, you know, don't strive to be a millionaire for the money, but because of what it'll make of you along the way. And, and, and that's very, very true. And you may not feel like you're growing or changing much, but this is where I remind you, you never know who's watching. We are some of the worst judges of, am I making progress? Does this make sense? And well, what is is it all worth it <laughs> anyway? We we're some of the worst judges, especially of ourselves in in these matters. So, uh, as I hinted at earlier, you know, uh, birthdays are in the fourth quarter, and of course that that one of those would be mine. Uh, and now I I don't know I, I feel I feel physically different finally that I'm I'm, I'm now forty one and I find this interesting uh, for me, and I, I wanted. To share something with you that happened that was by far one of the most encouraging things I've I've seen written in in quite some time in quite some time. While we all know the the power of Facebook and social media and 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 whatnot, and we all you know have you know many of us have friends and relatives, and some of us are our kids are old enough to be using these devices, and my my eldest daughter decided to go to Facebook to put her feelings about her dad on his birthday and and tell the entire community of Facebook, which, you know, might as well be the world these days, right? Uh, Because it's definitely there. And I, I just wanted to share that with you. And in terms of what she had to say. Not because I, I, you know, I, I, I think necessarily that I, I'm great per se, but because I want you to remember whatever you're doing, all of the listening that you're doing, all of the struggles and strife and, and character building and making it worth it uh, that you think you're doing. Somebody is watching and you may not know who and you may not know when, but you are making a difference. So if you permit me, I will keep, like I said, this episode short. I'm just going to to read what she wrote in the most unedited way possible and share it with you. And you can make of it what you will and just kind of go from there. So simply says, happiest of birthdays to the bestest dad ever in all existence. And before anyone says I'm exaggerating or I'm biased, check this out. This man, single-handedly, until he got married, then I guess it was double-handed, fought to stay in my life every weekend that he had me ever since I could remember until I was 17. He took a family of four from foreclosed and surviving to a family of six to blessed and thriving. We have had the opportunity to go all over and across the country and he across the world to be able to have the opportunity to teach, train, and impact so many people's lives for the better. And I couldn't be prouder. But it's when he comes home that makes the most difference for me because he shapes me to become a better person than I think I can be. He pushes me to limits I didn't even know. I could push past and gives me an understanding of the world that can only be collected from years of experience. I'm happy to report that he's still one of the smartest people I know, although that gene didn't get passed down as much as I would have liked, and continues to show a strong example of what walking and trusting in the Lord looks like. These pictures aren't random. They're milestones, not just for me, but for us. You were there at the right time for me, whether you knew it or not. Whether you could be there or not, your presence meant the world to me growing up. Because it meant you supported and encouraged me to keep being me. But when you weren't, it didn't change the fact that I knew. That's how much you instilled it in me. Every sense of the word I knew, in every sense of the word, I knew I could be Ayana Massey because you helped enable me to be. And I will always be proud to carry our name because of what you've done to help establish who we are. And if you made it this far into my post, then 
I guess all that's left to say is I love you. From Anaheim and back, I love you. From Pomona and back, I love you. And if I ever got the chance to live on the moon, well, I think you get the idea. I can't wait for the days in which I get to return the love and gratifying effort you help to put into raising me. As I and more people than I can count know how much you deserve it. Happy, happy birthday, Dad. Hashtag, I will put the soapbox back. <laughs> As I said, what you're doing is worthwhile. You're doing it for the right reasons and for the right people. You never know who's watching. Let today be the day that you can look back and say that was the day that I began to be a person that I would be proud of seeing on the other end. Until next time.